Stay safe. Got some time to kill. Time to curl up with a good... Stay safe. Finish second bite, your little friend's prey. The fragments protect the vulnerability at its center. Disperse them, strike at its heart. Sinta will help you. Fight as one. On it.
on your toes now. Finish this. Ready, Cuff? Oh, yeah. 
Not going anywhere. And neither am I. What happened? Tantus blessings. You did it. Really?
Hey, Homer. Sorry, it's been a while. I know. You miss me? <laughs> nah, I bet you got a full belly and a big old smile on your face right about now. Been so busy recently. Oh, well, you know, important stuff. Holding court, slaying demons. I'll let you in on a secret, but I'm a pretty big deal. <laughs> like, actually, I, I'm kind of a big deal now. Everybody needs me. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the whole hero thing, but look, just tell Judge Bird I took her advice, okay? I'm finally using my gifts to help others. Tell her, uh, thanks for the almost birthday present. Kind of wanted to be there to say it myself, but it's probably better coming from you, girl. It's been a pretty good day, you know? Wish they could all be this good. But you and I both know that's not how it goes. Listen, you ever get lonely, you just remember. Remember that you are not alone. Even if you find yourself with nowhere to turn and no clue where to go or what to do next, you can't give up hope. You might think there's nothing left to live for. That nobody cares. But the truth is, you matter. Even when you can't see it. Granted, you might fuck up along the way. But you'll find your way home in the end. I promise, I did. And look at me now, huh? Tonta Frey. Daughter of Sinta, protector of Athens. I'll come back for you. I promise. Just look out for me, okay? See you on a see ya. Right, so Paul is thriving now that you clear the break. But it's still out there, in all the realms. And I don't have a clue how to get rid of it. Wish I could figure it out. I'll continue to study my father's notes on reversing the break. Maybe between the two of us we'll find a way. You know, if there was someone who would have known, it was Bob. <laughs> Indeed. You know, the Council would welcome you as a member. We're alive and prospering because of you. Look, okay, don't think I did all of this just for Athia. Newsflash, I'm not that altruistic. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, the council gig, it's not for me. But I can think of someone who'd be pretty good at it. Who? You, dumbass. <laughs> You're the glue that holds this whole place together. You step up, you look after the injured, you inspire people. I couldn't think of anyone else better for the job. There you are, Auden. Johiti's been looking for you. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Would you look at that? You're needed. <laughs> All right, see you later. 
birthday, I had a Joe for me. And now the real work begins. Damn. That is a lot of land for just one girl to cover. But it's a good thing I'm not doing it on my own. Isn't that right, Cuff? It's Van Brace. All right, where do I start? What exactly are we starting? Are you planning on becoming some sort of errand person? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sure you have some suitably grandiose term for it. Break warden? Just to be clear, we aren't starting anything. I'm gonna use you to clean up the mess you made. Hmm. <laughs> you know this is just the beginning. You can't keep me like this forever. I'll drive you out of your mind soon enough. Yeah, good luck with that. Break Warden, though. I kind of like it. You always did love my ideas. Oh, shut it.
Oh, hi, Frey. Are you off somewhere? Not that I'm worried, of course. You always make it home safe. Have a nice trip. It's just up ahead. Uh-huh. Use this. I think I'd like a sermon. Something dignified. Yeah, something with a ring to it. Like, uh, Mr. Fucking Unbelievable Annoyance. Charmed, I'm sure, Miss Woefully Predictable. Greetings, fair hero. Milia is more dedicated to her work than ever of late. So, did you guys... or did it all go... you know... Why ask a question like that? What if she broke the poor fool's heart? It is hard indeed to say for certain. Hard to discern much at all in the face of such dazzling wonderment. Uh... But wait, you must hear my latest. It is a triumph. You will do me the honor, of course. Then, if it please you, I present a shiny, shiny, bright, and new Sipal. Still no progress on those naming skills, I see. This latest was inspired by your brave deeds, and by our fair city, and above all, by a certain special someone. I owe you more than words can say. Perhaps this will go some way, at least, to repaying my debt. Should ever the urge to hear a song come upon you, you need only say the word. Nice. Was just thinking I needed a snack. An apple a day keeps Frey's hunger at bay. Yeah, it wasn't funny the first time. The whole city busies itself with rebuilding, and yet here you are, footloose and fancy free. Wonderful. Caught red-handed by the teacher. I have been meaning to talk to you. Come and see me at the council chambers. And put that apple back before you do. Oh, uh, sure. The rebuilding's coming on in leaps and bounds. But there's a long way to Goodness. Ah. You still do not understand the value of a simple apple, do you? Well. And so, you see? Even a single piece of fruit is as vital to Arthur's future as... Okay, yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Lecture received, loud and clear. Good. Now, to the real reason I summoned you here. Oh, you mean there's more? Hasn't she tortured us enough? For you. Thus, their names herein recorded. The lost are their due worth afforded. This, among other things, was entrusted to me by Tanta Prav. It brings with it a grave lesson. That to promise to bring peace, and to do so, 
are two very different things. I pray that we need never again speak of sacrifice. But you do not wish to hear more of my preaching, I am sure. Don't worry about it. You're good. Anyway, there won't be any more sacrificing happening anytime soon. The people of Sipol will not soon forget the promise we made you, Tanta Frey. Is it really practical to be carrying such a doorstop of a book around with you? Not really, no. But it means a hell of a lot more than a pocket full of apples. It's certainly very different from the lower city up here. Why, though? What's so special about this part of town? These days, that it offers just that little extra dis- Let's see. Flighty little creature. Worth chasing it down, perhaps. Stopped. You let me here on purpose, didn't you? Homer, for your cute. Feeling that cat wants us to follow it. Stopped. You let me here on purpose, didn't you? teach me how to fight, could you? I want to help the people as you do. Oh, hello. You're no Homer. 
Parker, you're cute. Most exciting errand in the world? For you, maybe. All is well, Frank. My post here is a vital one, standing as I do in close proximity to both the square and the courtyard. You take your work pretty seriously, huh? But of course, it's no mere workaday job. It is my vocation, and my greatest pride. Speaking of which, we guards agreed that you should be presented with this. Although I fear such formal trappings are not much to your liking. Yes, not exactly your style, is it? I don't know. I gotta say, it's a cute look on me. I would prefer that you did not make light of it. But I must say, it suits you Oi, well. Milia, what are you doing? Get back to your post! Right away. Well, until next time. Coincidence meeting you here. Hey, have you noticed the square looking tighter lately? Actually, I have. You've been helping out? Yeah. I saw how much you were doing for the city. And I thought I'd better start doing my bit. Hey, since you're here, can I maybe show you around a little more? Oh, I, uh, I think I know the place pretty well by now. Thanks. I'll bet you don't know how to find all the people who want to thank you for everything you've done. And they'll all be very happy to see you. Do we really have to waste our time on this nonsense? Not sure you're right about them being happy, but... Yes. All right. Follow me. area was a total mess, but things are really coming along now. We're a little low on raw materials, since we still can't go outside the city. But there's no shortage of people willing to help out. You know why? Why? Because I'm not the only one who was inspired by that speech you gave at the archives. You gave a speech? And I missed it? No, oh, that's just typical. Yeah, you can forget you ever heard that. Thanks. Maybe later. I'm kind of busy right now. All right, but that's a promise. And you have to play with us too, Pilo. Huh? Me? Fine. But I get to be Frey, okay? Let's head for the pasture next. There's something I want to show you. 
What is it? <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. He really has no idea how annoying he is, does he? I'm so glad you guys are all okay. Stop that! You've already eaten! So greedy! You've been looking after him? Well, there was nobody else to do it! But never mind that. Look! She's your favorite, isn't she? Yeah. You remembered. Oh, I remember everything about you, Frey. I told you, no more food! Ah, how far our painfully unpopular little malcontent has come. You okay? I'm fine. We'll, uh, visit the mausoleum next. Can I suggest that we do something else? Anything else? I was just thinking we should head there. Yeah, okay, good. No, yeah, nobody cares what I say. Fine. Yeah, fine. Great! Come on. Thank you so much for the flowers, Pilo, dear, and for all your help tidying up. Oh, it was nothing. Somebody had to do it, right? Anyway, don't mind me. Well, if it isn't Frey herself. Frey! Frey! Frey. Oh, thank you thank for everything. Thank you so much. Look, I, uh... Just accept it, all right? I want to thank you for all you've done. Ugh, fawning hangers-on. Disgusting. We owe you everything, Frey. Everything. <laughs>